the mostly for rst ones for freshers they'll only ask a dsa but so there were two dsa rounds they also had a lld round uh for dynamic programming is important so in amazon also i was asked about uh in one of my dsa rounds i was asked a question about 2d dp hello everyone and welcome to placement part sala so today we have dhawal with us he has recently cracked amazon and today in this video he will be telling the selection process uh, how, what type of questions asked in online round coding round how he prepared dsa as well as core subjects and entire preparation process how he has prepared and how he was able to crack uh, amazon he will be, he will be telling each and everything in detail so make sure you watch the video till end and in case you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel so now let's start with a brief introduction of dhawal hi everyone so i am dhawal i am 2023 grad from vit velo and previously i had close to one year of experience and since uh, 3 months i have been working for for amazon okay yeah congratulations dhawal for getting placed in amazon so thank you coming to uh, selection process can you tell in brief about the selection process then we will be talking in detail about each round mm-hmm. okay so first i had applied to for multiple sd1 openings at amazon with referrals so in uh, december i got a uh, online assessment so online assessment has two coding questions uh, both were like medium level questions one was about linked list and second like i don't remember the exact question but it was uh, about arrays only Okay. so yeah so it was like a one hour uh, online assessment and i had cleared like uh, i had uh, cleared both of the questions so after that in february i think i got a mail from uh, the amazon and uh, hr team that they want to schedule uh, interviews for uh, this st1 who uh, this was about online round so total two rounds were there how many online rounds were there coding rounds on a uh, coding assessment it was only one round so but two uh, one was like a dsa questions and second was like uh, there was one more round i forgot the name of that but in that like they ask like a uh, behavioral questions let like uh, if you uh, if uh, suppose like you uh, have like uh, you have to you feel to deliver a project in time then what would you do and that there was a separate uh, one after the coding round immediately there was one more round about this also but uh, those were mostly like behavioral questions no coding questions so no uh, coding round there was only one coding round and after that i uh, got a mail that they are scheduling the interview uh, so now coming to interview rounds so can you tell about the interview rounds in detail mm-hmm. yeah so the mostly for rst ones for freshers they only ask a dsa but since i had one year of experience they also had a lld round so there were two dsa rounds in ds rounds also like uh, it would be one hour interview mm-hmm. first 5 minutes they would uh, it would be about the uh, introduction and then like uh, it uh, in interview rounds it one would be easy medium questions and the second would be little bit harder questions and that is also not like uh, hard questions but uh, difficult medium questions and first one is like easy medium questions so there would be uh, two ds rounds uh questions were also about like one of the questions were graph uh, uh, one question of graph was covered then other was as about arrays and binary search and those type of topics would be covered in the ds rounds and like the second lld round uh, in lld round like they would uh, ask questions about design a parking lot or design a uh, logging system or those type of questions they will just give you a um, very uh, vague problem statement after that you will have to you know, like uh, limit the scope like i uh, first they'll just say design a parking system so after that we'll have to ask like questions is it a multi level parking and what type of vehicles would be there like is it just uh, two cars or it would be two wheelers or cars and what about like uh, would there be separate slots for electric vehicles and those type of questions we have to first clarify with the interviewer and then like uh, define the scope of the system and after the uh, so that takes like around 5 minutes and after that we start coding like uh, that would be uh, we also have to ask uh, cl- clarifying questions like what would be the how would we charge the fees would it be charged on hourly basis or would it be charged on daily basis and after the, all the requirements are clear then we start the coding round and it would last about 
fifty minutes. So five minutes introduction, then five minutes around we ask those clarifying questions and define the scope, and then like uh, we move on to the coding for the LLD. Okay. So apart from DSA and uh, LLD, did they ask any other mm-hmm. core subjects? Any related to cs fundamentals any other our project related to project anything uh, i wasn't asked about any of the subjects like operating system dbms or all of those subjects but there are few other people on my team who were asked about uh, uh, these questions in uh, like hiring manager rounds so those people didn't have a lld round so some of them were asked about dbms or operating system or a little bit about sql but uh, uh, for me like there was no uh, 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 questions asked about uh, about the core subjects so yeah so apart from the, these two bs and llb there was also one hiring manager round in the amazon they also focus on amazon leadership principles so there are around 16 leadership principles like customer obsessions and then uh, ownership and having a backbone and so there are in total 16 leadership principles so mm-hmm. in the hiring manager round they directly not task about that uh, what is this leadership principle about but they indirectly ask you a questions like uh, tell me about a time you failed to deliver a project or what does your uh team say about you and these type of questions so you have to answer those questions using one of those leadership principles in a star manner star is like a situation task action and result so in those format like first you have to describe the situation then like what was the task then then what actions did you take and what did it uh, what results did it bring so we will have to answer those in that format using one of the leadership principles okay so scenario based questions where will you, uh, there was scenario based mm-hmm. questions they will give the scenario and you have to provide the solution to that mm-hmm. yeah okay so this was about online coding and interview rounds now coming to like preparation strategy how did you prepare for dsa and coding like on interview rounds and coding rounds and this was an off campus placement right so mm-hmm. how did you find the like this uh, job and how to uh, search for off campus can you tell in detail about this mm-hmm. so first i will cover the how uh, preparation part mm-hmm. so for preparing for dsa like i initially started with the neat code 150 sheet and then like i uh, also had prepared using the striver uh, sd sheet so you can use like any of those resources or uh, you might also have some uh, other like uh, good dsa resources so you can also share your inputs but you can follow uh, any of the good dsa uh, resources field and the topics would be like uh, they in the interviews they will ask topics like uh, related to arrays and graphs and stack queue list linked list and all of those t- topics would only be covered so you can uh, and uh, also two pointers and all of those topics so you uh, but uh, the sheets that i mentioned have all of these topics covered uh, in them so you c- could follow any of those resources for lld like uh, there are two ways if you prefer like video resources there are some youtube channels like uh, uh, kirti has uh, some lld videos in c++ and then there is concept and coding channel who uh, has uh, lld videos in java but like i um, for i had used like the head first design pattern book so it is also a really good book for uh, preparing for design patterns and then once you cover the design patterns you can start practicing questions like design stack overflow or design logging system design parking lot and those systems i'll also share you a github repository where they have uh, mentioned all of the lld questions so you can uh, find the, all the good lld questions from over there okay oh. yeah so for off campus like it also uh, i had applied uh, for like seven to eight openings at amazon out of those like i had applied for four or uh, four of them with referrals but uh, it like depends on luck also like in ibm also you gave me referrals and then also like i didn't uh, get interviews but uh, uh, th- uh, in amazon like i reached out to a recruiter also and uh, then i applied via referral also so i in december like i got uh, mail and then uh, in february like the recruiter only reached out to me that we want to schedule an interview for you for uh, this opening uh, for the st1 opening so. Okay. and for dsa how important is dynamic programming and graph because many students 
uh, think dynamic programming is, is very important for placements and all. So was there any question on dynamic programming? Uh, for dynamic programming is important. So in Amazon also, I was asked about, uh, in one of my DS rounds, I was asked a question about 2D DP. So yeah, like earlier, maybe um, some companies didn't ask, but right now the interview rounds are also like getting difficult because it is more competitive. So uh, topics like DP and graphs are also important. So you don't, uh, you have to cover all the topics and then graphs also, there are a lot of algorithms. DFS and VFS are important, but apart from that, there are other like express algorithm and those also, if you want to uh, crack like a fan companies, then you need to uh, cover those uh, algorithms also. Okay, okay. Yeah, and Dhawar was also part of a mentorship at TopMate. So I, I have taken his mock interview and he also uh, followed my guidance. So uh, was that helpful? Yeah, it was definitely helpful. I had uh, booked multiple mock interviews with you. So that was also really helpful. And uh, for your uh, half months, you have covered like the DSF topics. Uh, like I would also recommend you to give mock interviews. So uh, that would give you uh, an idea about how the actual interviews would go. So, yeah. Yeah, so for viewers also, if you want to take mock interview or mentorship, the link will be in description. You can book the session at the top mid. Yeah. So thank you, Dhawal, for coming and sharing your interview experience, selection process, and preparation strategy. Definitely, it will be helpful to viewers. So they will get uh, to know what, what things to be prepared and how to prepare for placements. So thank you for coming and sharing your experience. OK, thank you. And also, thank you for taking the mock interviews and helping with the mentorship.